Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a haul video, sort of, kind of, decorating, attempting to redecorate my house. I've been saying that on probably every single video that I, my goal is to put the house back together. And I've honestly been in a funk with my house. I don't really know what I'm doing right now. My taste and style has changed a little bit. I'm still farmhouse. I still love that stuff. Whites, neutrals. I just, I don't know. I can't. You know what I mean? You just can't place things where you want them. You have an idea, but you're not really entirely certain. That's where I'm at. So I went to Hobby Lobby today, Home Goods, and Target, and I found a few things. I'll show you guys the things. I just don't know what I'm doing. So I'm actually having Sam hang up a shelf for me right now. I will show you guys that. He is going to be hanging. Uh oh. He's gonna hang up this shelf for me. I got this at Hobby Lobby, and it's kind of modern-y for me, but I actually think I'm gonna really, really like it. It's gonna go right there, and I'm gonna do something different with this front entrancey area, so that's what we're working on right now. I have pillows and stuff, so I haven't really bought any new pillows, but I am trying to get this area together before I add anything else to the couch. But what are you barking at? Is it because he went upstairs? You wanna say hi? He'll come back. He will. He will. He will. So, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. But I will just go ahead and show you guys what I picked up today. Kaiser's coming. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys a few things that I picked up. I got this little pottery piece from Hobby Lobby. It was $11.99. I like the detailing on it, and I think it will look good on that shelf. Also picked up this piece here. This actually, I don't know if you guys can tell in the lighting, has some cream to it. So I'm going to have fun intertwining these. I kind of thought, I mean, pottery is really easy to just grab lots of it and mix it all together. My mom was talking to me about that when I was looking too. Like having the wicker on here is just a little different accent to it. You know, the different textures. I don't know. We're going to see. I'm going to mix, mix stuff around on that shelf. And then I picked up this cool piece. I thought this would be fun on a wall somewhere that doesn't have words on it, so I picked that up. It kind of has some rustic-y detailing to it. I don't know if you can tell or not, but yeah. Grabbed that, and then I found this shelf here. This is so stinking cute. I was kind of thinking about putting it over there, but it's obviously way too big and not gonna work, so I'll find another place for this. I was thinking about putting K-Pods in here <coughs> or coffee bags, whatever, but I will find a different spot for it. It's got a little shelf up here and then two hooks on the back to hang stuff on. So that's that. And then I also picked up some of these little lights that I'm going to put on our bed. Our headboard, we are able to put lights up there. So I thought that that would be super cute. And they plug in, which is what I wanted. Those were $10.99 at Hobby Lobby. And then that's all garbage. What else did I pick up? Grabbed a couple things from Target. I got some oatmeal and then I thought I would share you guys these shorts and toilet paper or whatever. These super comfy little shorts, this brand Stars Above, they're only $14.99. This material is so insanely soft. If you have never tried this brand, I've talked about another set from them as well. So cozy, I love them. So I had to get these sleep shorts. I grabbed a medium and hopefully they fit. So yeah, that's what I picked up. Oh, and then I got that mirror right there, that's a big circle mirror. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. I was kind of thinking about putting it there, but I don't know what I wanna do around the wall, so I haven't really decided yet. And then up here, I picked up this sign from Hobby Lobby. Uh, it was $34.99, but 40% off. Live with intention. I like the writing, I like the simplicity of it. So we'll see, I don't know if it's gonna go there or not, because I have that thing back there, but yeah. Picked that up as well. What am I forgetting? What am I forgetting? All right, so I am trying to get in a gallon of water today. So I already had a full hydro jug here, just about full hydro jug. That is 73 ounces. So I'm going to try and drink two of these tonight. We'll see if I can do it. But I absolutely love these sparkling waters. And I've talked about these before. I actually just showed these on my Instagram the other night. But these are from Walmart. If you go to Hy-Vee, Walmart, I'm sure Kroger, uh, all of those stores will have these. They're just sparkling water beverages. They have zero in them and they're delicious. So they're filling and they kind of crave your sweet tooth if you have one, if you're trying to crave your sweet tooth or just eat sweets, whatever. But I love these. They're great and they have so many different flavors. So I'm going to have that. And then I'm actually going to show you guys dinner and I'm gonna post the recipe 
on my YouTube as well because I know I'm gonna get asked. So I made this spicy taco soup last night and it just goes in the crock pot. You can do it on high for four hours or on low for eight hours. It's so, so good. I will show it to you guys the finished product of how I'm gonna eat it, but I will post that recipe right here for you guys if you would like to try it. But that's what I'm gonna eat for dinner. All right, so this is what the final product looks like. I just crush up some tortilla chips on top. So we have those and then just a little bit of cheese and then a dollop of plain Greek yogurt. Tastes almost the same as uh, sour cream and it just kind of saves a little bit of calories. So that is what we have. Okay, so now that I just ate, I'm going to take you guys upstairs and we are going to put these on my headboard and we're gonna see how it looks. And then I'm actually going to apply my self tanner and I haven't talked about that in a while. I did make a self tanning video, I think almost a year ago, but I'm just going to show you guys again how I do it. This is what the shelf looks like. Oops. Kind of hard to tell, but I just have a few pieces on there. I need to play with the settings on this camera, wow. That's where we're at. We'll see. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is put my hair up, obviously, because we don't want any of the tan getting into our hair. And I just want my hair up in general because we're gonna chill out and probably watch a movie or something. So I'm just gonna throw it up. Once you have your hair up, I'm gonna show you guys the tanning products that I use. If you're new here, I have used the same thing for a really long time. I think it's almost so I have been using the same thing for over almost two years now and it is Glow Pro Tans. This video is not sponsored by Glow Pro in any way. I do work with them. I do make commission if you use my code, but that's it. I absolutely love it. It's when I'm tan, that's why I'm tan is because of Glow Pro. So I use the 14% DHA. I will literally put what DHA stands for right here. I'm gonna grab a makeup wipe underneath. But I really, really enjoy it. It's the only self tanner I have found that really darkens on my skin which is obviously what you want when you are self tanning. You want to look really, really dark. That's the point. So that is why I really, really love it. I'm gonna actually take off my makeup right now and so you guys can tell what it looks like when you do apply it to your skin, like what your neck versus your face looks like because I do not apply it to my face. I have in the past and I have used their facial serum and their facial serum is great. I just have found that I like it better when I can match my actual face makeup to the tan on my neck. That's kind of how I like to do it. So if you can tell, you can kind of tell the difference between my neck and my face because I do have a little bit left from last week, but it's definitely faded. So that is what we are going to do, is I will take the mitt here and I will just put a little bit on the mitt. And it looks like that, the foam. And I will just start by applying it. I like to start on my arms making sure that you are really getting all of it blended in. And honestly, that's the only technique. I do my arms, my chest. I will go onto my chest now and I'll do my chest. And I there's a line that you kind of can follow. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's a green tint to the tanner. And that is how I know where I've been and where I haven't been. And you kind of follow that through the whole tan. And that's why I really love Glow Pro because you don't have streaks. It doesn't come out funky. You just kind of cover all your areas. And if you didn't, I mean, you might notice a small spot, but it doesn't look like a streak, which is a lot of tanners. So yeah. So that is pretty much it. That's honestly all I do. I just apply it everywhere and then I wait a couple seconds. I kind of let it air dry in my bathroom and then I will just throw on a sweatshirt. I like to throw on a long sleeve. This is very lightweight. There's not much to this. So I like to throw on that. And then I just have on some the little shorts that I showed you guys that I got from Target. They're really, really loose and won't bug me while I'm sleeping. So yeah, that is pretty much my tanning routine. I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. I know it was super short, but I just thought I would share a basic Saturday with you guys and a few decorating things. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.